So for relapse refractory treatment for younger patients, uh, I think it depends on what patients have received in the frontline therapy. Uh, so if patients have had chemoimmunotherapy uh, and they've had a very durable benefit for several years, uh, they need to be retested for their FISH markers. And assuming they do not have deletion 17P, and if they have mutated IGHV, then one can consider giving chemoimmunotherapy again. We now have data to support the use of a kinase inhibitor like a brutinib or idelalisib in combination with bendamustine rituximab for that group. So that's certainly one option. Uh, for most of my patients in the relapsed refractory setting, even if they're young and fit, I'll typically recommend a novel agent only based approach, uh, most commonly with a brutinib, uh, although venetoclax is also a reasonable option to consider. Although outside of the 17P setting, that would be an off-label use of venetoclax right now. Uh, and I do think idelalisib with rituximab is another option to consider that's approved for those patients. Uh, I think in the future, we'll probably be combining these agents in, in regimens uh, for the relapsed refractory patients. So right now, it is typically a matter of selecting one drug as the next line of therapy. But I think in the future, patients will have the option of combinations of the novel agents.